Hello ladies and gentlemen, Pork Chopper here and today is the start of a series looking in depth at the cards Deathcrawler and Shatter Golem, both in the Chaos Affinity. Each video will be looking at a specific carry, showcasing both cards on said carry and then going over my opinion on which card would suit that carry the best. Pretty much every carry build has the dilemma of these two cards. Both cost the same giving you a significant boost in damage, but you always wonder, hmm, which one should I actually use? The test will be done on jungle minions as the armor won't change throughout the game. The best way to get consistent numbers, but they do have a lot of armor, so the overall DAPS may be higher on enemy heroes. So first let's go over the cards quickly. Both cost 13 agility, like I said. Deathcrawler makes it so every 8 seconds your next basic attack will hit, so if you miss the card it doesn't proc, deals an extra 250% damage. However your attack speed is reduced, while Shattered Golem makes it so each basic attack has a 20% chance to deal 75% extra damage. Now when testing what I did was use the same deck for every single carry for these videos. How I tested it was I would get to 13 agility and only have the said card equipped testing how many shots I can deliver in 8 seconds and the damage both cards will give me. This means I can work out the total damage output for those 8 seconds. The reason I chose 8 seconds is that that's the death crawler cooldown, meaning you can get 2 death crawler shots off in this time. I did the same test again at 25 agility, so with more attack speed to show you the late game as well, with no extra cards, just the 2 cards, so no other factors in play, and the gems will be the same too. So in this video we'll be tackling a look at Murdoch, probably the most complicated one because of his passive. His passive means he gets extra basic penetration on a shot every few seconds. If he misses the shot it goes back on cooldown. This means when testing the cards out I had two different damage numbers depending if the passive was online or not. So first at 13 agility let's see how much attacks and damage each card will give you in those 8 seconds. So Jeff Crawler you can get 9 attacks off in those 8 seconds and that's without including his passive the bonus damage would be 325 and the normal shot would be 100. So in those 8 seconds if all your shots hit and you will proc 2 death crawler shots and the rest of the 9 attacks being 7 left to deal normal damage this will give you a total of 1411 damage. Now this is where it gets a bit complicated because now we have to account his passive in. The changes to the damage with the level 4 passive are 500 damage with death crawler and 140 normal. The passive at level 4 has a cooldown of 2 seconds, so to sum it up quickly, I mean it so the first death crawler shot uses the passive and every 2 seconds the next shot does the extra damage, so after working that out, the damage instead would be 1826 damage. That's with both death crawler shots and 3 normal attacks having the extra bonus from the passive, which will be triggered 5 times in the 8 seconds. Now let's move on to Shattered Golem. You can get 14 shots off in 8 seconds, without the passive it would deal 99 damage for a normal attack and 205 for a crit on jungle minutes. The problem here that is RNG, out of those 14 shots you may get 5 to proc or only 3, something you can't calculate but I will just make it that 1 in every 5 shots is a crit because that will be 20%, so in this case the damage would be 1000. 598, that's with only 2 crits and 12 normal shots. Attack awkward as the 15 shot would have been a crit but we only were counting the 14 shots here because that's how many you could get off in the 8 seconds. Now we have to implement the passive orn to this as well. That gives 140 for the basic attacks and 281 for crits. This is where it gets even more complicated because I can't really judge it because the odds of a shot being a crit and also being the shot that will be available for the passive bonus penetration is just pure RNG. But let's see what we can do. The passive will hit if you trigger it first on the first shot 6 times. If two of those are crit shots and the rest are basic shots, the same amount death crawler would get, then the damage would be 1873. Again that's with 5 shots with Murdoch's passive and 2 of those 5 shots are being crits as well. Now I'm going to do exactly the same thing when I'm 25 agility 2 and at hero level 13, to save time from going through all of it again but I used the same method. 
So you should see on screen the damage of both cards at 13 and 25 agility. So at 13 agility it seems with 2 crit out of the 14 shot, with or without the passive, Shattered Golem does more damage. A considerable amount more normal and a slightly more with the passive added in. At 25 agility it seems the same thing happens with both results, Shattered Golem just does more damage with 1 crit every 5 shots, which could be more or less the same, but that's just RNG on this part. So my overall feeling about this particular test on Murdoch. As you can see in all time Shadow Golem does more damage, but one thing to remember is that you have to hit all your shots and with such a quick attack speed that won't be likely. On the other hand with how quick the pace of the game is, for me using Deathcrawler on my lock does feel a little unnatural shooting rather slowly, but if you have your passive ready with Deathcrawler you can do insane amounts of initial damage but it is just tricky to follow up. Definitely a 50-50 key for Murdoch. For me I would rather use Shattered Golem because of the fast attack speed can benefit him a lot more and it doesn't matter if you miss a shot or two as it won't be as a crucial than missing that death crawler shot when it is equipped with how low Murdoch's attack speed is with that card. But that's just my opinion from the information in this video. You can decide by yourself from all the new information gained from the video. Like I said it's more of a 50-50 thing, Deathcrawler with the initial penetration shot can be really beneficial, however following it up can be tricky, so I personally prefer the higher attack speed of Shatter Golem. If you enjoyed the video do like, share and subscribe, it really helps me out a lot with how much work I put into these videos and I'll see you all next time.